Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Reynolds and I am Maryland's next cooking expert. I cook from the heart and I cook with a budget, but all of my food just tastes delicious. What I'm cooking up today is my special chocolate banana brownies. And this is the recipe that all of my friends ask for seconds for when I serve it at a dinner party. I'm so excited to show you what's in it today. You're not gonna believe how inexpensive they are to make. So I've got all of my wet ingredients mixed together already. I've creamed a quarter cup of butter with three quarters of a cup of white sugar, and then I've added an egg. And I've also got all of my dry ingredients mixed together in this bowl. I have a cup of flour, two tablespoons of cocoa, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a pinch of nutmeg and salt. And of course you can't make chocolate banana brownies without banana, so I have one cup of mashed banana too. So what I'm going to do now is just alternate my flour with my banana, half the flour first, half my banana next, the rest of my flour, and then the rest of my banana. And that's my entire chocolate banana brownie batter. But the best part is yet to come, so wait and see what we do after everything's mixed together and put into a springform pan. So I've got my brownie batter all in my springform pan now, and the last thing to do is put my extra special touch on, which is a crispy, chocolatey topping. All you do is put on a little bit of white sugar, just a couple tablespoons, and put it all over the top of the brownies. And then of course the chocolate, because they're not brownies without extra chocolate. So just sprinkle some chocolate chips, I put about half a cup on top. So now that your chocolate banana brownies are all set, it's time to slip them into the oven. I bake mine for about 30 to 40 minutes or until the top is melty, crispy, and delicious. So let's get them into the oven and I'll see you soon. Hi Marilyn, my chocolate banana brownies are out of the oven and they're wonderfully perfect. They're chocolatey, crispy on top, and warm in the middle. And what better to serve my chocolate banana brownies with than banana frozen yogurt? Homemade, of course. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this, and I can't wait to make it for you. Thanks for watching, and I hope that I am your next cooking expert.